Hey guys, and welcome back to SketchUp for Schools. Today we're going to be sketching a toolbox. And so you can see the layout here. So we're going to be starting with a six foot by five and a half inch piece of stock that is going to be a half inch thick. We're going to cut that into three pieces that are one foot by five and a half inches, and then two pieces that are five and a half inches by eight inches with these cutouts. Okay, so we're going to have uh, areas for the handles, and then we'll have a cutout on the sides. Once we draw all our pieces, we'll have a three quarter inch piece of stock for our handle, and then we're gonna do the assembly. Okay, so let's get started here. And we're gonna go here to home. I'm gonna to go to create new. I'm gonna go make sure that I'm architectural feet and inches. I hit create new from, from my home. Once this loads, it's gonna load up a blank screen. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the character. I'm going to rotate my screen until I can see all three of the axes right here. And what I'm going to start with is the rectangle tool. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be drawing is we're going to be drawing our piece of stock. That piece of stock is going to be six feet, comma, and then we're going to use 5.5 shift inches, right? Make sure that you guys are realizing and typing in this is the symbol for feet. This is the symbol for inches. For feet, you're pressing the notation next to the enter button, and then you're using the same button for inches, but you're pressing shift. Once you do that, you're gonna hit enter, and then that's gonna get you your first piece. So what I like to do is just go ahead and get the measurement tool. Just measure, make sure that you do have the right dimensions on there before you continue. And then you're gonna go over to the push-pull, and you're gonna pull that up by a half an inch, okay? So this is our stock piece of lumber. It's, it's six feet long. You can use a fence post. You can use um, whatever type of uh, soft lumber you want. If you wanna use a pine, a pine board that is that has these dimensions, you can do that as well. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be cutting this up into our individual pieces. So we're gonna come back over here to our rectangle tool and we're gonna be drawing our first piece, which would be the cutout, the first piece of cutout, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 5.5 inches, comma, and I'm gonna go 12 inches, okay? And so this is our first board, okay? Just imagine that we're measuring it here and then we're cutting it. And now we would be cutting two more of these similar boards. Instead of drawing those two similar boards, we're gonna use the move tool to actually uh, copy them. So let's go over here, go, and we're going to make this a half inch thick. And so now we have our piece. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that piece. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to make that into a group. Okay. And what this will do is prevent it from attaching to other pieces. So now remember to make copies. You're going to come over here. You're going to have the piece selected. If you don't have it selected already, you can go over to your select tool, drag, select, go to your move tool select move and then as you're over the piece you're going to hit control now when you hit control you notice that little plus sign comes up make sure that plus sign is there then you're going to click on the left mouse key and you're going to drag over so that's one copy we're going to hit control again remember you're not holding down control you're only hitting control and then we're going to make that that third copy okay so those are our three pieces one will be the base two of the pieces will be the sides so now we're going to do the end pieces. So we're going to come back over here to our rectangle tool. So if you ever have a tool selected, you can always just hit the space bar and that will unselect it. Go back up to our rectangle. And now this one is going to be five and a half inches by eight inches. So I'm going to type in 5.5 inches, comma, eight inches, and then hit enter. Okay. If you want to come over here to your to your measurement tool, you can come over here and make sure that it is five by five by eight. Perfect. Hit my space bar. Now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to do the dimensions on this piece. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my push pull. I'm going to pull this up by a half inch again. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my measurement tool, right? Which is the tape measure. Make sure it's selected. And from the bottom end point, I'm going to click and I'm gonna drag up and I'm going to type in five inches. Now, when you do that, it's gonna add, add a guideline right here. So you can see that guide point is added. 
So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to click, bring it up, type in five inches, and then hit enter, and it will add it onto the other side. Okay. And so it should be parallel from each other. So that's, that's the bottom guide point. Now we're going to do the top guide point. So from here, from the top end point, I'm going to click, I'm going to drag it over, and I'm going to type in two inches. Okay, adds that point right here. And from this side right here, I'm going to click, drag over, and do two inches again. Okay, now what this is doing is it's my measurements, so that way I can draw my lines right here, and I can get the shape that I want. So I'm going to go over to my line tool, and from that top guide point, I'm going to connect it to this guide point here, and from this guide point to this guide point. Next thing I'm doing is coming over to my push-pull tool, and I'm going to cut this off. So just pretend that you're cutting you're cutting these pieces, right? You've marked it, you're bringing it over to your, to your circular saw, your miter saw, and you're cutting off those ends. So now you have your end pieces. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to my eraser tool. I'm gonna to erase this guideline right here. So you might have to zoom in a little bit. Okay, and so now what next, next part that I'm going to measure is going to be with my measurement tool, I'm going to measure where I'm going to be drilling the hole. Okay, so you're going to go here, you're going to hit the center point, and from the center point, you're going to be measuring down one and a half inches. So you're going to go to your center point, measure down, type in 1.5 inches. Always make sure that your, your measurements are typed in before you hit enter, and then hit enter. Okay, so that gives me the area where I'm going to be drilling my hole. So now I'm going to go over to my circle tool, and I'm going to go from the midpoint down here, and I'm going to draw a three-quarter inch hole. So remember, three-quarter inch diameter. When you draw this, when you draw this on SketchUp, you have to have the radius. So we're going to go three eighths of an inch radius, right? That's a three-quarter inch diameter. So next thing I'm going to do is let's take a pause and let's go ahead and go up and title this. Okay, so we're going to title this now. Click on Untitled, go to your drive, and you're going to save it to your SketchUp Designs. So when you come up here, click on SketchUp Designs, and we're going to name this Toolbox Project. Toolbox Project. Hit Save here. And now what I want to do is I want to cut out that hole. So let's go back over here to our Push-Pull tool. Zoom in. And you're going to type in half inch, and that will cut out the hole. Now let's go ahead and hit our space bar to come off select. Go ahead and go up to the eraser and erase that guideline. Okay, so now this is our end piece, right? And so we need two of these end pieces. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna make it a group, and then I'm gonna copy it for my second end piece. Okay, so make sure you go to move, hit control, and then copy it. All right, so now these are all the pieces that we need except for the dowel, okay? So the last piece that we're drawing is our dowel. And so we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna do a 3 8 inch. That gives me a, uh, that's the, uh, that'll give me a 3 quarter inch diameter. I'm gonna come over here to the push pull tool, zoom in on that. And I'm going to pull that up by 12 inches. Okay. And so now I'm going to select that. I'm also going to make that into a group. And that's my handle. Okay. So now what you can do for your layout is you can come over here onto the side. You can take your, you can take your rotate tool. And then as you're looking at the piece, right, you want to make sure that you're on the red axis. So if you can't get the red axis to, to, to lock in, the up axis is the blue, the right key, the right key on your keyboard is the red axis. So you're gonna click on it once, rotate it to the direction that you wanna rotate, click on it again, and then rotate it up until it's on the blue axis. Boom. Okay, so now go ahead and go over to your move tool and then move that down to down to the floor with the other pieces. So if you want to do this, you can come over here, zoom in, hit a corner, 
And then if you hit corner to corner, that will line it up onto the floor for you. And then you can just go across on the red axis. Okay, so this is my layout, right? I started with this six foot piece. I've drawn my three 12 inch pieces. I have my two eight inch pieces that have all of my uh, dimensional cuts. And then I have my dowel. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do assembly. And so I'm gonna leave this layout on the floor, but I'm gonna make a copy of it so I can do my assembly. So I'm gonna hit the move tool as I select it, hit, contr hit control, make sure you have that plus sign, and then bring all your pieces over here to the side. Okay, now we're gonna start assembly. So we're gonna have, this piece will be our will be our left side, this piece will be our right side, this piece will be our base. So we're gonna come over to this piece first, we're gonna zoom in, we're gonna to go to rotate, we're gonna go on through the green axis, we're gonna rotate it into this direction, okay? Once we have it in that direction, we're gonna to go to our move tool, we're gonna take the corner, make sure you have the corner of the group to corner of the group, right? So that way you have corner to corner, it just should just lock right in. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the other end piece right here. Make sure you're on the green axis again. So click once, rotate to the direction. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go to our move tool again. And so again, from the corner of the group to the corner of the group. So we should have these pieces. Now, what, right in, in real life, what we'd be doing would be gluing this and then nailing this. Okay. Now what we're going to do is move our two end pieces over. So we're going to go over here, select our end piece, go ahead and go ahead and move that over. And then while we're here, we might as well move the other piece too. So we we'll just move it right here. Okay, so now we have to rotate our pieces. So we're going to come back over here to the rotate tool. Rotate this one first since we're here. We're going to be on the red axis. Click once. Rotate in the direction that you want. Click again. Rotate it again. Now go to your move tool. Now remember that little trick, go to corner of the group and then bring it down. You may have to move it over and then corner of the group, okay? Now this right here is going on the inside. So you're gonna take this outside corner and you're gonna move it to this piece right here. So you're moving from the outside to the end group. So outside to end group and that should fit right there, okay? Now again, when you zoom into this, this should be even, right? These top areas should be even. If you drew it right and cut it out right, it should be even. Same for the bottom. There should be no spacing, okay? Next, go ahead and select your other piece, your other end piece. Position however you need to. We're going to go to our rotate tool. Make sure you're on the red axis. Now, sometimes when you come over, you're gonna, you can see that it turns to a black axis. If you use the black axis, that means that you're not directly on the piece, okay? And when you rotate, your piece will be crooked. So make sure you're on the red axis, whatever axis I tell you. Click on it, rotate once, click on it again, and then rotate again to your parallel, okay? Now we're coming back over here to our move tool. I'm gonna go from the corner up here, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go from this outside corner to the inside corner, and it should click in. Okay, so we're almost done, guys. All we got la left is just this one last piece to move over, and that is our dowel. Okay, so now we're going to go to our move tool. And so when you move this over, all you have to do is just move it into place, and then you're going to go from the end, and you're going to position it into the middle. Okay. Now, when you do that, you should be you should be even on all sides. Unselect it, and we're complete. Okay. The last the last step we have is we're going to label our dimensions on these pieces, and then we're going to paint everything. Okay. So to label dimensions, you're going to come over here to the tape measure. You're going to go to this dimension tool right here, and so we're going to come to the first piece right here, and we're going to label this dimension. So let's go ahead and go to our dimension tool. From the top corner to this corner, pull out, that should be one foot. And then from this corner to this corner, that should be five and a half inches. So do that on all your pieces, right? This is just showing that you, that all your pieces are correctly dimensioned. And this also reinforces the sizes that you're gonna need, 
right? Now on these pieces right here, you're gonna go from the end to end, that should be five and a half. From this end to here should be five inches. From here to here should be three and five eighths. And then that's the only pieces that we need. Oh yes, one up here. So we're gonna need from here to here should be one and a half, okay? So label the other one the same way. Almost there, guys. Last piece that you gotta label. So we're not gonna label the we're not gonna label the the dowel. We are what we are gonna do is come over here to this label area, go here from the end, and it should show the three eighths inches. Okay. Now the last thing that you have to do is you have to paint your toolbox. You're going to come over here to the paint bucket. Okay. It should open up colors. You're going to hit the search and we're going to go down to where it says wood and you're going to pick a wood color that you like. Okay. So I'm just going to pick uh, this standard color here. I'm going to paint all my pieces. And so you're going to have to paint all the edges if it's not a component. This back piece is not a component or a group, so it's, you're just going to have to go and get all those edges. And that's it. That is our toolbox project. Okay, so the last thing I like to do, I'll scroll up here, and I'm going to do some 3D text just labeling this. So I'm going to come over here to where my circle tool is right now. I'm going to go to 3D text. I'm going to type in toolbox project. I'm going to keep it at one foot. I'm going to bring that over here, place it. And color it. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to color. I'm going to color this one with a color. I just color it red. Okay, guys, so that completes the project. If you have any questions, please talk to your instructor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Last thing I want you guys to do is hit the save and have a great day.